All right, here with Armstrong Head Basketball Coach Darrell Watts, his team a winner 63 to 54 over the Kingsport Bulldogs here in the holiday tournament. Proves your record to? Four and three. Four and three overall in the season. Coach, uh, you'll play in the championship tomorrow against Nance River, which we'll get to in a moment, but a uh, very balanced attack for you. You get five guys from uh, eight points to 18 points, which is pretty much the norm for you guys yeah, as yeah. a group. And uh, second half, Dominique Finney really took over. I had five dunks, 18 points, 13 rebounds, uh, five blocks. He can be explosive. Yeah, he can be. Um, in the first half, we didn't feel like he was applying himself, and he wasn't playing very aggressive. And so, you know, we had a conversation, a few choice words, trying to light a fire on him, and I guess it worked today. Yeah, and I thought early on he was acting a little bit defensive, but he wasn't really aggressive offensively. But once you got your guards getting in the lane, I think it kind of they kind of sunk off him some of their defenders. Was that yeah. another part of the plan? Well, our guards are excellent ball handlers, and they're quicker than most. Mm -hmm. So we can get in the paint, and then they kind of set the table for him. Antoine Bruce had 15 points. He was 6-6 six of six by my count in the first half. Also had three or four assists. He's really taken over as kind of that table setter for him in the backcourt. Exactly. Antoine Bruce is south now. <laughs> really? Yes. And, and He's playing, he played in the seventh varsity game today. Um, we benched him a couple of games ago trying to get his attention because we didn't feel like he was giving the effort on the defensive end. And um, today, he played well in the first half, well enough to start the second half. And Toriano Lewis, the guy that searches the defense for you? Right, that's, that's the um, sniper. And he is um, the leader. He's a leader. He's a four year starter. Um, plus, he's probably the hardest worker that I've ever coached. You know, uh, Kings Four, obviously Rick Height when he was at Petersburg, he always teams would be scrappy and tough hard nosed. What would you think at halftime? It's 31 30, but you probably felt like you could have been up more. Yeah, I thought we could have been. We missed some opportunities. Um, and they played. They played very hard. Um, we caught a scouting report, and the report said they were scrappy and they played hard. So the goal was to not let them exceed our intensity. Mm -hmm. We wanted to. Um, bring the fight to them, so to speak. A couple more for you. I think we started you out in ninth or 10th in the state class three. We know last year you guys were right there knocking on the door and really a tough conference with the likes of George Witt and John Marshall. It's a bear to get to regionals and states. Let's not forget Oakwell. Oakwell, who's great, and towering big man with the Jeffersons and other. But just that whole region, and Petersburg, no slush, other teams that you face in that whole region has been a, a bear. What's sort of the, the, the thought of this group here as you Look at the midway point, we're almost at that point for you guys, and what it'll take for you guys to get to that next step. Well, every day we talk about getting better. We talk about getting better. Um, this Friday shouldn't look like last Friday, and next Friday we shouldn't look like we do today. Mm -hmm. um, we encourage mistakes. We just tell them to bring us new mistakes tomorrow. So uh, growth and improvement, and hopefully we reach, reach our peak going into the playoffs. What do you know about Nans River? That'll be your opponent tomorrow, and um, what can that do for you as a springboard for the new year? Well, we saw them earlier tonight. They, they appear to be a very scrappy bunch as well. Better than you played last year, perhaps? Yeah, yeah. They looked like they were real, real, um, they pressed. They try to make you play fast. It's pretty similar to us. And so I think it's going to be important for us to secure the ball, take care of the basketball, and not beat ourselves. And again, I think Finney could put his fingerprints on the game because his size is, is somewhat of a problem. For sure. Well, best of luck tomorrow. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.